Hey guys, I'm back again and I'm here to do another Vlogmas video. And today we're going to talk fountain pens and other accessories that we need uh, sometimes when we use fountain pens. So last year in, during Vlogmas, I showed you my entire fountain pen collection. But today I'm going to show you the two new additions that I've made to the collection since then. So the first one I want to show you is this one right here, and this is a Twisby. Now, this is the cheapest Twisby you can buy. I purchased this one online, and I wasn't sure what it was going to be like when it came, and oh my God, I absolutely love this pen. So as you can see, the beauty of this pen is that you can see all of the mechanisms through the pen. You can see, you could see if it was clogged. You can see that it's full of ink. All of that. So this is one of the reasons why I purchased it. So that when I use ink that has sh shimmer in it, I will be using this pen and not any of my nicer ones. Because this one, at least I know I can tell when something is blocking in there or something like that. Whereas with other pens, I can't see that. But this one, it works like this. So you see it has this spring here. So what I'll do is I will undo this. And you press down and the ink shoots out. You can also, when you want to take ink in, you press down like that. You put the point into the ink and then you let up and it sucks up the ink. And that's how you fill up this particular fountain pen. I love it. I just think it's fantastic. This one is all full, so I can't really show you that, but... You get the idea. It's easy to see uh, what's going on with it. And it's so cheap. And it writes really, really well. This one is, I think, I want to say this one is, I think it's a medium nib, this one. I think it's a medium nib. And it it writes really well. Inside of this one is, I think it's some kind of peacock blue ink from Herbin which I love. Okay, now, the second pen I got was this one right here. This is a Pilot. This is a Japanese pen. OMG, I love this pen so much. It's so light. It's so smooth. And when you're holding it, it's just the right weight and everything. And look at that gold point. Ugh, it's just gorgeous. And when it writes, it's so smooth. I mean, this pen is, it's just perfection. Now, this pen cost 188 euros. Your girl did not pay no 188 euros. <laughs> no, 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 no. I paid for this pen 115 euros because I caught it on sale. Now, Caught it on sale and I decided to get it in black and gold because it also comes in burgundy and beige or I think it's more like burgundy and sort of like cream. Uh, and I thought that this looked much classier in black and gold and I do not regret my choice. Writes like a dream, feels like a dream, smooth, Got it for a great price, and who knows, maybe I will purchase the the burgundy beige one if I can get it at the right price, because your girl ain't paying no 188 euros for that. So these were the two additions to the family that I bought this year. So as you can see, I don't buy a ton of them, but when I do see one I really, really like, if I can afford it, I will purchase it. So those were two additions there. Now, the other addition I have is this right here. So this past summer when I went on holiday with my husband, we were on our way back our last day. We went to a cathedral museum. Fantastic. At the cathedral museum, they had uh, the, the Bortoletti products. And I saw this box and I said, I had to have it. I had to have this. It's just so... Like, this is the perfect addition to, you know, my life as somebody who likes to do a lot of writing and stuff. 
So this is what showed up. So we have first we have here. This is actually like a wick. So you pull this out. And you light this. And it has a continual flame. And then I take my wax stick and I heat up my wax. And then when it starts to drip, then I drip it on top of my letter. And then I use this seal to finish it off. Now, this is an interesting seal because it has a fleur de lis. And I already have a fleur de lis seal, but you know, it's different. It doesn't look exactly the same as this one. This one, if you notice, it has like little fleur de lis that sprout out from the fleur de lis itself. And it's, it's fairly thin, this seal, and it's made like an old, an old style seal. So I, you know, when I saw this, I said, oh, I have to have this because this is just, it's going to add to my, you know, to my collection. So this is the other one that I have. This is a seal that I have that's a fleur de lis. And you can kind of see how different they are. So you can see this one is much thicker than this one. I like them both. They're different, but I like them both. And yeah, I can't wait to use them. So this is what I picked up on holiday. Absolutely love Bottoletti. It's Italian. If you like anything having to do with glass pens, uh, you know, uh, wax seals and, you know, wax sticks and anything like that, you should go check Bottoletti out. Fantastic. So now the last thing, which is in addition to my collection, was a gift from a very good friend. So I had been looking for one of these for forever and I hadn't been able to find one and she found me an inkwell and she gave me this for my birthday. I tell you, I could not believe it. I was over the moon when I saw this and it's a really old one. So she found it in a antique shop that is in her village. So she lives in France as well, but she lives on the other side of Paris she lives literally on the other side from me. I live in the Northwest and she lives in the Southeast. And let me tell you, I couldn't believe it. I, such a beautiful gift. It's a perfect size inkwell. It's not too deep. As you can see, I'm at the bottom there. You can tell from my finger. And easy to clean out. Nice cover. It doesn't clip you know, too hard or anything. It just covers it like that. I cannot wait to use my new inkwell. I just want to like throw some ink in there now and get out some glass tip pens and go to town. So this is another new addition to my writing life and I'm just so happy to have it. So that is all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment below and tell me how much would you pay as a maximum for a fountain pen if you are a fountain pen lover. And if you're not, would you consider using fountain pens and wax seals? Do you like that kind of idea? Let's talk about it below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. So that's all I have for you today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>